Hey guys, this video is in regards to donating blood and blood donations and being transgender. Uh, I've given blood numerous times since I've legally been able to, and yeah, I've been through the process many times. However, I gave blood for the first time on Tuesday after coming out as tra since coming out as transgender and starting my transition and all that. I actually hadn't given blood since July of 2010, so I got to go through that whole process, and that's kind of what I wanted to make a video on. I've seen some guys post questions in regards to how that, how being transgender or transitioning affects the ability to donate blood and all that stuff. So, yeah, I, I really wasn't sure. I had absolutely no information. I didn't see why it would stop me from being able to give blood. So I just kind of went in and uh, went through the motions and I figured if I couldn't donate they'd tell me. So, uh, yeah, I signed up, read the paperwork, they sent me into the blood mobile, which they actually had parked outside my place of work. And I went in there, she asked me if I had my blood donor card, which I told her I wasn't sure, and I didn't want to give it to her anyways because it had the wrong name. And it still had my birth name on it. And she said, well, it didn't matter. So I looked for it. I didn't have it. So we went through the whole registration. And um, she changed my name on in their system or whatever. And she, looked, she took my driver's license. And I assume, she obviously assumed that I was transgender. Uh, because she asked about my gender marker change and I told her that it was in the process of being changed through birth certificate I just hadn't been able to change it on the driver's license yet so she told me that because it involved a lot of paperwork and all that stuff that she wasn't going to change it in their system until it was changed on my driver's license I was like whatever um, didn't really bother me all that much and I asked her I was like or I uh, commented I was like you act like you've had a lot of this before and she said yeah, she's like, uh, she told me that she's had, she's come across it many times in her years working as a nurse that takes blood at blood drives or whatever. And so I thought that was pretty cool. She was very pleasant, very polite, she was very uh, likable, very easy to talk to, and she seemed relatively knowledgeable. Um, and I know one of the questions it asks if you are or at least on the paperwork that they give you in the beginning, it tells you to let them know if you are taking any type of growth hormones or anything like that. And I didn't know if my testosterone shots counted as that, so I told them, but she told me that it didn't because, uh, like, the testosterone that I received for my weekly injections are synthetic. It didn't count the same. That the growth hormones are mostly given to younger children to jumpstart puberty, that kind of thing. Uh... And then when you go through the questionnaire on the computer that they make you answer yes or no to, uh, I did have to click yes to the question where it asked if I had, in the last eight weeks, if I received any kind of shots from vaccinations or anything else prescribed by my doctor. So I answered yes, and when a different lady came in, I explained to her what the uh, situation was, and she was cool with it too, um, and it proceeded with checking my iron, everything else was okay, so uh, I got to donate blood, and yeah, I just went through the normal blood donation stuff. Uh, I didn't feel any different afterwards, um, donating blood takes a lot out of me for a couple days, so I'm still kind of working back up. Yesterday, which was Wednesday, I received a call from some person from the Blood Cross asking me to call them back. Forgot to do that yesterday, so I did it today. I wasn't sure if it had to do with the name change or if it had to do with something wrong with my blood. So, because of my blood, I made a point to call them back today. And basically she asked me, um, she said that there was a discrepancy in the forms. Apparently, the lady had marked me as male on 
my form and she needed to know what my birth sex was. So I told her female and uh, then she asked me if I had already had the change and if I'd had a complete sex change, whatever the fuck that means. I know what she meant by it. Um, however, I have, in the as far as le legality is concerned, I have had a complete sex change because I can change my gender marker. So I told her yes. Um, but she also proceeded to inform me that something to do with their rules and state mandated stuff or something or another, uh, they had, they have, or they are required to mark down the birth gender on all their forms, so, just think that's a little bit interesting to know, um, so I don't think I'll ever be able to be male in their system, so, um, in case anyone else wants to know, uh, I do live in Virginia, so I don't know how the blood cross regulations, rules, and all that stuff. I don't know how that changes or varies from state to state, but that is how it went down with me and my blood donation, in case anyone else was wondering. If anyone has any questions, I'm probably sure I skipped over something, but I don't think so. If anyone has any questions, feel free to hit me up, and I'll probably make a post about it on my Tumblr, which I'll post the link to down below. So. Uh, yeah, uh, that's all I have. Peace.